It's Wednesday, February 19th, and you've got the Day Weather Podcast. Thanks for listening. Well, folks, it's best summed up over the next few days to say that most of the interesting weather will be for you podcast listeners that are in Colorado, or if you're going to be traveling into Colorado and into western Kansas, that's where most of the exciting weather is going to be. Wyoming is going to be in a rare break, a rare break in the weather where there's not going to be much wind. And yeah, it's going to be a little on the cold side, but there's going to be a distinct lack of wind by our standards and only small chances for snow over the next four to five days. So this is a much needed break for Wyoming travelers and outdoor interests and stock growers. But Colorado, we'll show you here in a minute, you've got a little bit of snow coming your way. Long term, we get back to colder, unsettled weather next week. But in the meantime, we've got a bit of a break coming. Let's talk a little bit about the snow chances coming for folks in Colorado. There are two storms coming. Storm number one is going to come in late tonight and into tomorrow, producing snow along and south of the I-70 corridor. This will include the Denver metro area. You get north of Denver, there's not going to be much. South of Denver, Colorado Springs, Pueblo. Out on the eastern plains of Colorado, there's going to be some pretty good snow. Then another storm system is going to move across Colorado Saturday night and Sunday, bringing portions of southern, southwest Colorado, and southern Colorado a chance of snow again, with only the extreme southern part of Wyoming getting into the snow chances. And here is the forecasted snow between today and and Sunday and you can see the axis of the snow comes up out of the desert southwest and right along and south of I-70 mostly. This first snow event that's coming tonight and tomorrow will affect this area here but especially southeast Colorado. The next event coming late Saturday into Sunday will bring snow into some western slope areas of Colorado and you can see there is a northern edge and this is a maybe might get into far southern Wyoming with a little bit of snow Saturday night and the Sunday. That's that's a maybe. But look at Montana. Look at the rest of Wyoming, eastern Idaho, western Nebraska, western South Dakota. Nice weather for a change. That's right. Not much wind and nice weather conditions. So not often we get to draw a smiley face, but hey, why not? Now, as we get into next week, though, things will change. We get back to colder weather again and winter returns. And here's a little snapshot of the cold that's coming. These are our forecasted low temperatures coming for Wednesday morning. Notice all the gray here. Anywhere you see gray, you're talking near or below zero temperatures. There is going to be a change in the jet stream that's going to bring Canadian air right back on in again. So that smiley face goes away, I'm afraid. Once we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, we're headed towards colder weather. And there's going to be some snow. Right now, we're not expecting a lot of snow. I think we're going to see some, but the way the shape of the storm is evolving for next week, it's not the type that's a big snow producer on the plains. There'll be some, but at the moment, it doesn't look like a lot. But I'll tell you, our confidence in our forecast models is very low for next week. We just really don't have a lot of confidence that any computer model right now has next week's weather well handled, other than to say, yeah, it's going to turn quite a bit colder again next week. And you can see that cold there. We're pretty confident of the cold. We're not confident about how much snow we're going to get. And this is one reason why. This is the forecasted jet stream for Tuesday morning. We got a ridge building in the Gulf of Alaska. When there's a ridge up there, We're in the fridge with the colder air coming in. But notice the low pressure aloft wants to be more centered over South Dakota. You got to get it down here for a big snow event on the plains. As long as it takes this northerly track, then snow will be low in terms of amounts on the plains. But notice we've got waves coming in behind it, little ripples. Here's another one here. What the jet stream is going to be doing late February into early March is acting like this. So what this means is we've got this nice break in the weather now, but starting next week and heading into early March, do expect the snow chances to go up. And really, March is going to be off to a cold start. Thanks for tuning in to the Day Weather Podcast. We'll talk to you on Thursday. Have a great hump day Wednesday.